Hello everyone. Good night to everyone. My name is Alexandra Kozma and I'm coming live from my Facebook personal profile. Today I wanted to share with you a sweet story about something that happened today and it got me thinking about the topic of authenticity versus resonance and also the issue when we are not healed we can't embrace something or someone we judge it and simply because we can't embrace it yet for some reason maybe it's unconscious maybe it's conscious maybe we know why maybe we don't but also the judgment can be conscious or unconscious so anyway we judge it as inauthentic so today I sent a video to someone because I felt that there is an important information in the video for them and their reply to me was a reaction saying well I listened to two minutes of this video and I got the shivers from the woman who was in it and I couldn't listen to it because if you could differentiate between authentic or inauthentic a true teacher or a false teacher then you'd know better so it was a real <laughs> reaction and it really got me thinking about this topic of what's real what what's authenticity really it's very interesting so yeah because my experience is that when I wasn't spacious enough yet or my awareness wasn't expanded enough there were people whom I was judging before because I couldn't resonate with them, I couldn't really feel their essence, I couldn't really feel what they were about, what they were talking about. Somehow I felt separate from them and because of that when I would listen to them my mind just wouldn't connect the dots. And then I was continuing the purification, the forgiveness, the healing, awakening and everything and lo and behold a couple of months later or a year later I was listening to them again and everything made sense and I could feel their soul and their essence and I realized that it was just really about that that I wasn't expanded enough yet and because of that I couldn't really see their gifts and talents and I couldn't really feel the energetics of their being so that's really about it <laughs> for me that I mean most of us isn't really at a level of um, enlightenment that we could really judge someone because we have our um, phases in our lifetime probably you had these experiences too like I did I resonated with someone very strongly and then something happened a shift in my being and I just couldn't anymore but I can discern it and I don't judge them like oh it's all bullshit what they are talking about it 
it's nothing like that. It's I just know that it's not our time to connect. There isn't a, an alignment. That's another important um, word and the meaning behind of this word. So if we are not aligned, then we just we just don't feel each other and that's what I experience now so anytime if I listen to someone and I don't feel aligned I don't feel anything maybe I I can feel the dots that they are connecting it does nothing for me I just know that it's because it's not aligned it doesn't resonate, it, it's not because they are not authentic, it's not because there's something wrong with them, it's just not aligned, so that's about it, and let's not judge it, because if there's judgment, there must be something like a lack of self-love in there, so I don't know what's your experience with this, but it really got me thinking, so I'm actually grateful about it and I could also check in with myself whether I was triggered or not with the reaction. Because, you know, sometimes you have good intentions but you trigger someone and then they just bah, bite you back. <laughs> and, and yes, then we can just check in with ourselves whether that reaction does something to us so anyway it's always helpful so that was one thing I wanted to talk about and then the other thing is so many times I feel like I'm receiving messages from my future self so this way of experiencing started to come in well in the last one or two years I think and I find it super exciting so before I was always asking for guidance from Holy Spirit or Jeshua or God or whatever and now I feel much more connected to my own quantum self or future self and and I don't go that far ahead like oh my enlightened version my enlightened self usually I just go into the future and it happens involuntarily and naturally effortlessly in a silence when I check in with myself and I'm asking for my next step uh, among all the potentials that's available what would be the most fun most enjoyable simple and heart opening yeah and so sometimes I go into the future like a couple of months or six months or a year it's very similar to the movie Next with Nicolas Cage, if you saw that movie. I find that movie fascinating, fascinating, so my experience is actually quite similar to that. And yes, with certain experiences, the same way, like Nicolas Cage was able to jump into the future when it was about his love played by Jessica Biel. Hey you! Magical, yes. Hi, nice that you're here. So, uh, yeah. Nicolas Cage was able to jump into the future when it was related to his love, but any other time it was more just like I think it was two minutes so it, my experience is actually very similar to that so I have a couple of visions one is related to marriage because I already feel the ring on my finger 
and that could be a couple of ye years ahead in the future, I don't know, but otherwise sometimes it's just a couple of months. And I had the same experience last year when I felt the guidance to focus on my Facebook page again. And you know, I am the quantum self now. And I am the one who sent back the messages to that version of myself. And I find that fascinating. I remember having the vision of uh, having a certain amount of people following me and it was about 1000 people and at the time my page because I kind of neglected it for years was around I mean less than 400 and I remember having this vision of having more than 1000 likes and the same way with my YouTube channel I was just starting it and it was maybe around just uh, 30 or 40 people subscribed and I had this vision of having over 100 people subscribed which is not that much but you know that's not the point the point is having these visions and it's so exciting and and then at that point you can't really imagine how that would happen what are the steps? I was always just following the steps in the moment, following my heart and the fun and always the next step that I felt like I'm able to do that, I'm capable to do that. And now I'm receiving this message that what was the message? Yes. Um, build on what you already have, what you already are. And I think that's so important because on our journey it's really about learning to have gratitude for our journey and appreciate to appreciate ourselves and everyone in our lives. To appreciate our light work and sometimes when we finish projects and maybe we are a little bit disappointed about the results uh, or it's just not how we imagined it then this strange feeling can come in that we have to start from from scratch we have to start from zero and this year I really realized that it's never about that it's never starting from scratch and I can always focus on what's already present what I already achieved even in form what I already embodied and really just um, go with that and let that be the foundation and I think that's really exciting and heartwarming and soul touching that we can just build on that so that's kind of like what quantum healing means for me right now having this deep connection with our quantum self in different points of time and we can always receive the message from that point of time what we exactly need right now and of course always what we need is just the same just uh, be still and ask and you shall receive ask for guidance and yeah, the the support is there because we are not separate from Source and from Love. So that's the message I have for today. Maybe it's important for you for some reason at any point in time, <laughs> even if you watch this video later. 
so I wish you a beautiful day and remember to ask for help and guidance and support and remember that you can build on what you already have and have fun at the same time okay blessings and miracles to you bye